Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we would like to present our presentation that is about sexual harassment among students and teachers in the schools. And this presentation was conducted under EDU 646. And I have a group members with me, include me, that is Nur Hidayatul Ikmal binti Ahmad Sukri. And my friends, that is Nur Shafiqah Nadira binti Allah. Uh, and also, Tengku Nur Shafiqah binti Angku Hadi. First of all, we would like to give uh, many thanks to the viewers, uh, to my classmate, and also to my lo lovely lecturer, that is Dr. Khadija Said Hashim. So, I would like to give an introduction to all of you about sexual harassment. Did you know that Malaysia has continuously played a significant role in all spheres of human in the world, such as economy, political, schools, education, technology, and banking, among others, in Asia in general and Southeast Asia in particular. Like many other countries, develop and developing alike, the country is not spread from uh, various social problems such as baby dumping, assassination, wrongful killings, injuries, bullying, and sexual harassment. Among others, which undoubtedly are common scenarios or phenomena today in the public domain, the school as a hub and private place in addressing multifarious challenges in our society is also faced with some social issues, specifically bullying and also sexual harassment. It must be pointed out that outraging modestly of another or using obscene language, suggestive remarks, and unwanted physical contact among others is improper, unbecoming, and unacceptable standards of behavior in any civilized uh, society. So, how about harassment? What is harassment? So, harassment consists of offensive, abusive, belittling, humiliating, threatening, or intimidating behavior directed at a person or a group of persons. So, sexual harassment refers to sexual conduct which is imposed on and is unsolicited or unreciprocated by the recipients. Example would be repeated unwelcome sexual comments, um, looks or physical contact among others which are usually committed by a male against a female. Sexual harassment may occur in many places such as in the workplace, uh, schools, or other public places. So, since we're talking about the school, since we're focusing on the school, so in schools, sexual harassment may be committed either against the teachers or administrators of the institution, or against peers or colleagues. For it to constitute sexual harassment, the conduct of the accused must be unwanted or unwelcome. So, the recipient must perceive the conduct as sexual in nature and further it must be offensive or humiliating or a treat to his or her well-being. So, we will move to another slide about sexual harassment. <clears throat> Did you know that we have a different categories of sexual harassment in the schools, which is it can it can emanate from um, teacher to teacher, teacher to student, student to student, or student to teachers. The student to student sexual harassment is common and prevalent in uh, schools. So. This may take also different forms such as a verbal, non-verbal, physical, and also written. For your information, verbal harassment entails any upsetting or insulting words directed at someone based on her or his gender. For example, certain nicknames like stud, babe, or sexy may have some connections 
So it also includes un inappropriate sexual sounds like whistling, kissing sounds, and others. So non how about nonverbal? So nonverbal harassment may include leering or ogling with suggestive uh, over tones, licking lips, and uh, or holding or eating food provocatively, persistent flirting, not ring, rings, uh, gesture with hands, a finger, legs, or um, denoting a uh, sexual activity. So how about physical harassment? So physical harassment in is any unwanted physical contact. This may include but is not limited to touching, uh, grabbing or pinching in a sexual way. So it may be regarded as sexual assault which is a criminal offence. Okay, um now we go to the last one is written harassment which is includes printed material. It may take place by sending sexually oriented notes, letters, fax, uh, SMS, MMS, email given or sent directly to the victim or something that is placed where the victim might be able to see it. So, against the above backdrop, this presentation is aimed at addressing the causes of sexual harassment that happened in the school and further. This presentation also proposed a viable uh, solutions for its pre presentation in the uh, in the Malaysian context. So this it is argued that the student must know wha when they are being sexually harassed, either by their peers, teachers, or others during or after school hours, and probably even in their own homes. So it is not worthy that sexual harassment is often committed in the classroom or other areas within the school premise as well as on the way to and from school, which is basically outside the control of the school authority. Further, further reference is also met to the mode of handling such cases with reference to the approaches taken by selective uh, schools. In Malaysia, so I have um introduced about the sexual harassment. So how about we go for the next presenter that will tell us about the causes um sexual harassment happen in the school. So now I will give uh another to next presenter that is Tanku Nur Safika. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Tengku Nur Shafiqah bin Fiqh Wahdi. So, um, thank you to Iqmal for the explanation about uh, sexual harassment in the school. Uh, so, now we, na we move to the causes of the uh, sexual harassment in the school. So, sexual harassment can happen anywhere within and outside schools, in the classroom, the locker room, on a field trip, sporting event, and even outside school premise, such as on the way to and from school. However, sexual harassment is likely to happen when there is no clear observation from the school authorities for example during class breaks lunch or recess among others further with the prevalence prevalence of sexual harassment in malaysian educational institution authorities has have not taken proactive measures to create awareness among its students about the issue. This probably could be because of the sensitivity of the issue among the Asian society which, which considered for the students to learn what, what constitutes sexual harassment and more important what they need to do when uh, there 
encounter with, with such incidents like sexual harassment so the first point of the causes of the sexual harassment in the school is indecent dressing okay why the perception of people with, with respect to indecent dressing might be different uh, generally the indecent dressing that reveal reveal their privacy might influence the opposite opposite sex in the school environment to initiate social interaction that might subsequently lead to sexual harassment okay uh, skimpy wearing skimpy or transparent wears for example may arouse the sexual emotional attachment that could lead to physical verbal and non-verbal sexual harassment okay studies also have shown that camp campus girls or students who are dressed skimpily skimpily and reveling dresses was associated with the expectation of compliments wishes and demands to be gratified um, so as the students we have to wear something proper and nice to wear not too sexy or too open yeah you know people nowadays love something sexy and it will lead to sexual harassment uh, so as a muslim we have to take care of our our right it will decrease the sexual harassment because people will will respect on us so okay uh, for the second point of the causes of the sexual harassment in school is exposure to sexual materials okay students are enticed by sexual materials that are accessible to any internet browser and this arouses their sexual emotion which then lead to sexual harassment students will addicted with the pornography and start to make a sexual harassment to girls in their real life um, such as in school so parents need to be more alert to take a look to the children and make sure the children did not use uh, their gadget such as handphone or laptop for the bad things um, one of the vulnerabilities of information communication technology is the introduction of e-sexual harassment with the use of electronic networks for sending pornographic pictures, sexual message or and many other illicit uh, sexual activities recent studies also shows that sexual jokes are also common common among the students which undoubtedly have a tendency of creating hostility by female students towards male students as they may uh, perceive it it has a form of uh, harassment so teachers uh, must take serious action to students who make a sexual jokes in the classroom um, because this is this is a sexual harassment it will make um, victim the victims victims feel uncomfortable to being in the school so it will create bad environment in the school Uh, the next um, causes is uh, use of illicit drugs uh, studies has have shown that the use of illicit drugs has a tendency of making one to commit sexual harassment sexual misconduct beside uh, negative effect illicit drugs 
on the personality of students. Further, the prevalence of the use of alcohol among secondary schools and college students has contributed to sexual harassment. Uh, however, um, it has been noted that there is no consistent findings regarding the use of alcohol is a factor leading to sexual harassment. Uh, interestingly, in the context of Malaysia, is in the 1980s, the Ministry of Education had advocated for proactive action against the youngster or youth, youth, youth involved in drugs and alcohol in schools. The if effort were made at preventing sexual harassment involving the students in the country. With the current scenario of the prevalence of sexual harassment among the youngsters is that there has been deterioration with respect to if efforts in combating the use of illicit drugs among the youngsters. So as a parents, we have to take a look at our children to make sure they did not take any drugs or alcohol. Um, this also happen when our children's our children's uh, friends with bad people so we have to know uh, with who our children friends with okay so the last point is secluded areas in sexual harassment okay it is on record that in the content of school or college environments, a particular situation that the harasser and the victims find themselves tends to contribute to the sexual harassment. For instance, uh, male and female students that find themselves in a secluded area have a tendency of being uh, subjected to sexual harassment compared to those who are engaging in their academic activities in an open place. For the example, students uh, make a study group and they choose the wrong place such as uh, I'm such as sorry uh, such in a uh, hotel room, um, bedroom or in the closed room lah. Um, in the secluded area anything can happen to them especially students that only have uh, two people in the study group or boys are more than girls in their group members so the students should find an, an open place such as library classroom or any other open place to make a study group student also need someone who can watch them while they make a study group so that's all for uh, the causes of the sexual harassment in school so now we okay that's all for me thank you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nur Shafiqah Nadira I am from class ED242 7B Okay, thank you Iqmal and thank you Shah for your explanation about sexual harassment Okay, today I'm going to present about how to prevent sexual harassment in school Okay, so far we are already know about sexual harassment uh, that was explained by Iqmal and Tengku Shah Okay uh, sexual harassment is a problem that occurs in school, whether they are rural or urban, rich or poor, public or private, secondary or elementary. Okay. Uh, the most saddest thing is sexual harassment is not a new thing. Okay. Sexual harassment has taken place in the school for years, but only recently, 
it has begun to get the attention it deserves. Okay, some have caused such attention uh, to overreaction to normal adolescent behavior, but sexual harassment can inflict deep psychological damage on the young people. Okay, so I'm going to talk about how to prevent this sexual harassment at school. Okay, we are alert. We are already know that when we are going to prevent something. We are not going to prevent it from the people who do it only. Okay, it it will uh need to include a student, the victim, uh the teacher, parent, and school. Okay. Uh, so the student who make the harassment, we call it as a perpetrator. Okay. So. The responsibility for preserving uh, an appropriate uh, learning environment is um, the responsibility of the school. Okay, so first thing first, um, how to take care of the uh, this uh, sexual harassment uh, is from the school. Okay, firstly, it's from the school. Okay, the school need to make a room uh, uh, or make a program that talk about the problem maybe the school can call a guest to show to all the people in the school that this thing is really important uh, so the teacher will educate uh, themselves uh, they need to educate the student the parent and also the staff okay the staff also include in um, school uh, circle which is uh, they will need to know about sexual harassment also okay the school system have a responsibility to ensure that each student can attend school in a safe environment that has been made clear by a recent court decision okay so uh, obviously the school uh, need to play a main role in prevent this sexual harassment um, in the school okay so second uh, we move to the teacher okay teacher need to educate the student about sexual harassment um, such as uh, the meaning uh, the example okay so um, the other point is student must be taught that the difference between teasing and sexual harassment okay they need to know that uh, if they do that it was teasing or sexual harassment okay sometimes student they keep um, they don't know how to different between this teasing and sexual harassment they feel like there was just teasing but actually uh, it can lead to the sexual harassment um, before they notice it. Okay, so teacher must really need to explain to them the difference between teasing and sexual harassment. Okay, for example, um, they talk something inappropriate, touch uh, the other gender, at the um at the appropriate uh, place okay so uh, third we talk about teacher okay the teacher need to teach student how to deal with harassment okay before this we need to ask uh, the teacher need to explain uh, about sexual harassment okay so for the third the teacher need to teach student how to deal with the harassment okay uh, ignoring the situation will lead to a cycle of ongoing uh, harassment so when a teacher uh, ignoring the situation the harassment will keep going and keep going uh, because uh, no action was taken toward the perpetrator okay the one who made the harassment or we call it as perpetrator will continue to do it because no report and action was taken toward them so they feel, uh, oh, it's okay, uh, I don't do anything wrong because teacher don't take any action to me. So, I can do it uh, uh, again. Okay, so, okay, for the another point, student must tell their classmate to stop 
when their behavior is inappropriate and offensive. Okay, the student must t- uh, tell their classmate uh, what you do is wrong. Okay, you cannot teasing me like this because it could lead to a uh, sexual harassment. Okay, so this is the teacher responsibility to tell the student uh, about this. Okay, the the student uh, really. Uh, need to know um, that their behavior is inappropriate and offen- offensive. Okay, so that they will never do that again. Okay, so okay for the third um, point, uh, we move to the parent. Parents should involve in this sexual harassment uh, problem. Okay. This is because parental involvement is critical to long-term behavior. Okay. Uh, next, uh, the parent also need to be educated about sexual harassment and their effect. Okay. Um, and when a sexual harassment happen, the parent of the victim and the parent of the perpetrator need to be informed uh, about the detail so that they will know how to do and uh, how to take a further action okay so for example adam has um, um, made a harassment to amina okay so um, the teacher and the school uh, need to call uh, both parents okay not just call only amina parent or just only adam parent okay so both of them uh, really uh, need to know about this this is because family involvement is important uh, to avoid a long-term emotional damage and to change their behavior. Okay, so for example, for a uh, family Amina, they can give uh, emotional support, moral support for Amina to keep going. Okay. Then often embrace to report sexual harassment because uh, they feel like it was uh, wrong okay they really need to know that the harassment is really not their fault okay they need to keep asking for help until the harassment stop so they need to keep asking for help until the perpetrator uh, don't do it uh, anymore so in a conclusion sexual harassment is not something a young people need to learn to tolerate Okay, it must be stopped so that school can be a safe and positive school for children to learn. Okay, so we can look um, uh, overview of the uh, how to prevent sexual harassment. We can look from the teacher aspect, from the school, from the parent and also the victim itself. Okay, so we need to prevent um, this to make a better school okay thank you okay uh, that's for Amina family okay so for Adam family um, their family need to give uh, advice to Adam or maybe can take um, action to Adam so um, it will change uh, Adam inappropriate behavior okay so that's why I say family involvement uh, really needed to avoid long-term emotional damage and also to modify an appropriate behavior. Okay, uh, in many cases, parents really need to educate about sexual harassment and it is harmful effect in order to help them to identify the harassment and respond appropriately. Okay, uh, so for the... Uh, conclusion about this parent their, their parent is really um, important in change their their child uh, behavior ok sometimes student they don't like to uh, listen to the teacher but they are most scared toward their parent so that's why I say parent is really important thing to the student life ok Lastly, for a student, uh, for the victim, uh, 
if the harassment continues, students need to seek help from the teacher.